Hi everyone, welcome back. We're watching more of The Walking Dead. Yes, yes. Storm here. Mom here. Kimmy here. Last episode was very scary. We had two different house invasions where we had innocent people go into an evil house. That's right. And they got attacked. And then Maggie and her so group weird. were hiding where bad people came in That's right. mm -hmm. to find her. Yes, yes. So very different feel. Sure. Oh, had a it's different petrifying. horror vibe. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's very terrifying. And I'm glad Connie's okay. I was really worried sure. about her and Virgil. I was really, you know, he. they both went through a whole lot. They sure did. And <laughs> we had a great interaction with Kelly oh, and Kelly. Connie yes. at the yes. end. That was very nice yes. to see that. That was, nice. that was mm -hmm. fantastic. That was sure was. Yes. Yeah. Kelly's so happy now. And I want Daryl to be okay because I yeah, don't too. like him with Leah's group. Yeah, he needs yes. to get out of there. Yes. So you guys ready? We're ready. ready. Yeah, keep going, Maggie. Huh? With what army? Come on, Gabe. Back me up here. Our people are about to starve. I'm not going back to my family having failed. Ah, oh, Jesus. At least admit what you're asking of us. Walking to our deaths for what is a sack of beans. Even if we are good, I don't have to keep looking over my shoulder. Hmm. I know you. No, no, no. Uh, same conversation. Right now, you gotta let this go. Take a promise from me. Really? Yeah. I would. Assuming you are a woman of your word, I've always been a man of mine. Hmm. He's done a lot of bad things, but he is yeah. true. She'll do it. He's yeah. telling the truth. Okay. Handshake is still a handshake. Yeah. It's his sister's best friend. Aww. Oh, Teresa. Geez. She was just a kid. She looked like she's been dead for a long time. Yeah. Jeez, what is oh, this? Like they, they're you're doing great. Holy crap. I'm okay. I'm great. So this is their punishment? The timeline since this was last an essential activity in your daily routine and the necessity for it should be factors in your self judgment. It's a pretty bad punishment because oh, you can easily die. That's a lot of walkers. I love you, but you gotta give me space, man. just clear these. Oh, is he really like being in their space? Stupid. Yeah, I said it. Here comes the orange guy. This becomes another debt we have to work off. Never been afraid of hard work. Jeez. Were they? I, I thought maybe they found me difficult. <laughs> hmm. Well, we expect a person with your pedigree to have high standards. Well, look at this place. We certainly do at state. Yeah. Hey, right? And I'm expected to provide legal services to... Miss Milton and her cabinet. Right. Then I'd like to no. speak with her. Right away, please. Sounds like the patrols come home. Yep. Hey. Oh, tied him up. There are scouts everywhere. I'll be careful. If you get a chance to kill one of them. If he's alone and you have the advantage. I will. Yeah, he's <laughs> such a different person now. Yeah. Jeez. Oh my God. Just you and me. Not cutting up anyone I know. You're gonna have to find me four strangers. Only need three. I kept my mask for practical and sentimental reasons. Uh. It's not fun. Well, not with that attitude. Okay. Let's get it over. I never really like me to know. Come on. Yeah. Good okay. Out here. So they're tying up walkers so they can get enough walkers together and then they can. Like yeah, thing. do the whole whisper thing. Yeah. Look at that mask, jeez. <laughs> Your brothers are dead. Try keeping them alive. No. Oh. And yelling at him's gonna do that. God, she really pushes her luck. Yeah. One. That the wall 
Miles, you got the food? Why well, keep hunting? We have to make sure they don't come back. God. Oh my god. I still think it's funny, it's just the mask that throws off a walker. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that, the smell, like all human yeah. smell. Yeah. A big time. She's gonna trip! Uh oh! Walker trip! Oh no! I walker trip! Uh oh! Where, where? Oh no, he's gonna kill it! Oh no! Oh, he can get rid of it. Tie it back up. Oh no. You tripped, honey. He's gonna turn. He's gonna go right to you. Clever girl. He's gonna throw it. He's gonna throw it. Thank you, Father. He knows right where you are. Oh, Don't let your guard right. down. I, know, I feel like he's gonna oh, jump. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Father. I know where you are. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is so weird. Oh. It is. <laughs> it's like a different <laughs> show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He lied at the interview. Yes. I like things the way they are. Me would never meet Miss Milton. Why not? You have to know your place. Uh oh, in his oh. place is. Oh, oh, do they what? hear that he lied? Leave it alone. Oh no, do they hear that he lied? I know, it's the only yeah. thing I can think of. Probably. Fix the mask. <laughs> Told you to get it right. Congrats, and you're welcome. <laughs> hey, I need to talk to you. Mm. Oh, fancy pants. Yeah, yeah. Talking to you. Like Where the hell is my brother? He's fine. That wasn't my question. You made an appointment with Pamela. Even after I told you and your friends that I was taking care of things. I might have That's to blackmail you later. You sit tight for a few more hours. A few hours. Excellent. He's mm. so creepy. Yeah. <laughs> he is so creepy. A few hours. He's gonna like be like, oh, a few hours could mean a week. Oh, well, it can't be a bore. Hands off. Uh oh. Don't shoot. Uh -oh. I, I have a family who needs me. Please. Mm -hmm. How many Stand more people there. are there? No. How'd you avoid the patrols? What? Talk to Proby's gonna say kill everyone. Kill See? You kill just kill them? Oh crap, oh, come oh she's on. gonna watch no, Daryl, he's gonna tell the truth. Copy that. Oh, she's gonna just kill us. us. <laughs> See? See yeah. now Daryl can't do that crap. No. I'm on. We're lost in very different ways. You think I don't understand the losing side of a massacre? There were no children at the satellite station. No families. And where'd Aaron get Gracie? Yeah. I don't know about that. You can't debate battle plans with me. Levels of cruelty. Look, all I'm saying is that I remember when my home was invaded and my people were killed. Those men. They had friends. They had girlfriends, people that felt a loss. Could have kids that were there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if I could do it all over again. I'd have killed every single one of you. Ooh. Didn't expect him to say that. Mm, me neither. Wow, puts things in perspective. It's the truth. We gotta do whatever we can to protect our people, right? I mean, that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. Why would you say that to me? 
Because you're all killers, too. We had a good day, you and I. And the only way this works, Maggie, is... is if we're honest. You guys murdered people in cold blood, too, not knowing who they were, but you just knew you were threatened by them. Where do they bring these exactly? Jeez. Uh, I don't know. Somewhere far from the fields and the water supply. Uh -huh. Stephanie, Eugene, I'd like you to clear the area up along the north fence line. Uh -huh. Can you show me? Yeah, sure. Excellent. Ezekiel, Princess, come with me. Oh, survivors, but that's yeah, still dangerous yeah. work. That's right. Where are they going to put them? Ooh. What's the freaking music? Who? Yeah, right. Uh oh, they're making out. Watch out! Oh god, he's stupid people. Oh, oh. oh hey, don't touch oh, her. No, not Steph. No, not Steph. Oh. Why are they even running? They're like you're yeah, supposed yeah. to do this for yeah, me. Yeah. Like they're working for them. <laughs> Um, where were you? Was that about? Listen to her. Oh, she's, she's not even looking. No she's gonna have to do it. She's gonna have to do it. Oh, honey. You oh, son of a bitch. What the heck? She just saved your freaking yeah, life. Yeah, there you go. go Good. Good job, you genius. She saved your girlfriend's life. Great. Now watch and how they're gonna get in trouble. What they did to Kayla? These lunatics attacked us. <gasps> Are you no son of a? We just bitch. saved your freaking yeah. lives. Oh, I hate this guy so much. He's so stupid. You did not. Oh my god. He's a spoiled brat. He probably owns the whole thing. Yeah. He's he probably must the head die. Of the I'm sorry to hear that. Is everyone okay? But she seems really She's like, don't concerned. ask any yes. questions. Just don't ask any questions. Yes. Of course I'll. I'll do it now. Uh-oh. Is everything okay? I'm afraid Miss Milton will have to reschedule. <sighs> Someone just attacked. Mm. Oh. oh no, it's her And it's son. your friend. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh, come on. It's, it's oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Oh, that's loud. Oh my god, there's <laughs> so many in here. <laughs> <I'm all laughs> around. Yeah. My god. Okay, come there you go. Friends, come. Come with us. Ooh. Wow, what a hiding spot. Oh, he did bring the Oh, no. Please oh, don't. Please on. don't. Yeah, don't. Oh, my God. She's already... Holy crap. He's See, really hurt. I told you the truth. And it was dangerous for them to stay. I'm ready. Oh, she's oh, no. At least we can see that it's really hard on the end. Please. Yeah. Jeez. It's gonna be loud as heck in there too. My God. No. Mm. Mm. She won't. She won't. Oh, she can't. Oh, wow. oh crap! He's gonna have to do it. Oh, damn, Daryl's gotta do it. Oh, he God, always damn. does. Oh. Yeah. No one finds them. It'll be bad for him. Well, they might be just other people. Yeah, yeah, because they, they didn't see them. People. Yeah. She kind of explained him. But it was another guy. <laughs> Does she know her? Oh, she knows. Oh, he knows. 
Oh, oh is that no, his sister? Oh, oh, that must be his sister. Oh, oh, oh what a terrible thing. Oh, oh, this, oh he's going to die. No, he's, he's going to ruin it. No, no what a terrible thing. Oh, no, oh, it's going to ruin it. Oh, Calm no, down. No. Calm down. Oh, God. Calm down, baby. Look the other way. That is sad. Oh, right there. Hmm. Thank God they're together. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Thank God she was right there with him. Right there next to him. That's insane. Look at all of them. They... Wow. Oh, look, look at the mom. Look at the mom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they did get a big group together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I didn't did. think they'd be able to get a big group together like that. That was a big group. <laughs> yeah, it took wow, a lot of work. Wow, yeah. wow. I'm scared wow. that if they go up to, you know, people, that they're going to be the first ones that they're going to take down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's fun to actually see them learn from the whispers yes, and use their like techniques. Yes, learn yes. from their foes. Uh, and absolutely. their battle techniques to go <laughs> after <laughs> enemies. So in oh, a way, wow. yeah. it wasn't good that they interacted and no, had a battle or war with them, like but uh, it did come in handy to do this. Yeah, that's right. okay. I hope it works okay. out. I mean, I'm hoping they could take out a lot of Pope's people. And, you know, I really hate the Reapers, of course. I'm really worried for Daryl. I do like Leah. I think she's an interesting character. I like seeing her compassion here because we have seen yeah. her have compassion before. Mm -hmm. She's still a very new character. We haven't really seen much of her besides the last few episodes. Um, right. And she just seems so cold, like when she's with the Pope. Yeah. So to see another level of compassion with this family and how she couldn't shoot the mom, That's like... Her. It makes me like her more. Yeah. And the reason why I say it like that is, yes, you know, being with the Pope, they have a lot of stuff going on. They are going after these enemies. These intruders are trying to kill them. They're afraid of the Pope. But she had no real interaction with Daryl. I mean, they seem to care for each other, but they never had any kind of, like, couple interaction. Right. And I get... Not when they were with the group. There was a lot of dangerous things going on. But here they're walking in the woods by themselves. And they have plenty of opportunities to talk. But it just seems oh, like yeah. they're so separate from each other. I think it's been so long, so you know. Long, yeah. And yeah, he's yeah. trying to feel like where she's at. Yeah. Oh, you know. True. And he keeps yeah. looking at her, like, for guidance. Like, he wants to talk to her. But she's just so strict on the mission. Yeah. You know, he keeps looking at her and just trying to, you know trying to engage but no. you know yeah. he's no, a, he's a shy guy but you know the pope knows you know take your boyfriend you know he knows what's going take on he knows that <laughs> you know sh he knows that you know that she's very you know very much in love or you know he is a good friend to her he means That's a lot right. to, he's her. Close to her yes, he does, yeah. and um she She's got to watch it, though, talking to the Pope like that, because there could be a time where, yeah, you're like a daughter to me, but listen, yeah, you're wrong like now. That, you know, yeah. you're embarrassing me now. You know, I'm trying mm -hmm. to talk to my soldiers and you're, you know, diffusing yeah. the issue. So she's got to watch a little bit. I mean, you don't see it right now, but I mean, there could be a time Something where he can, can turn. Something can turn him, and boy, he can you know, turn and go after him. Yeah, so yeah. I'm very worried about now where she has to go back ASAP because of that that spiritual guy at the grave. Site yeah, yeah, he the felt praying. something. He's like, "Thank you, Father," or something. Mm -hmm, right. So he know he knows that there was someone watching him. I know because that was yeah. the way he said thank right? you. I, I got yeah. that impression So he's too. like, "I'm not doing anything now because I'm by myself with this guy. He's probably gonna take me out. So I'm just gonna leave and I'll come back, you know, yeah. with reinforcements. Or maybe so yeah, I'm worried about yeah, just, Gabriel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was such a weird interaction, you know, for him to get up and say, thank you, Father. And the way he was, like, staring almost right at Gabriel, like, he was staring in his direction. And we could see him past, you know, like, farther away than that guy. So I'm kind of like, how did he not see him? So he has to 100% know that he's there. Mm -hmm. And, like, why would he interact that way? Why would he say, thank you, Father? So was that more, like, truly thanking God, saying, like, I'm not going to die here because I'm praying to you and saying what I have to say. And this guy's not killing me. So thank you for having my yeah, back yeah. or whatever. Um, or more meanings of 
thank you, Father, almost threatening Gabriel, being like, I know you're there. I'll be back yeah, later. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think, he's, do I, I think it's a little yeah. bit of both where yeah. he knows someone's there, he's spiritual, and he's thanking God, like there's a lot of a lot of people believe mm-hmm. that anything that ha- anything that happens, it's a sign from God. Mm-hmm. So if he's that spiritual, he's like, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna thank you, God. I'm going to just leave, and you know he knows what he has to do in this. He's mm-hmm. got a role in this community where, you know, yes, he's spiritual. He's going and he's blessing people that die in this community, but. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna go bag out, and I'm gonna go. We're gonna get these these intruders, because yeah. he's, you know, he drank the he drank the Kool Aid. He's he doesn't want to be, you know, he doesn't want to be killed, and he wants his community to be safe. So, I mean, yeah, yeah so. that's what yeah, I'm taking yeah. it as that he's um, he knew there was someone there. He thanked him, the good Lord. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. He didn't kill me today. Thank you. I'll come back, and I will. Get this guy. Yeah, Yeah. I wish Gabriel took him out, but I guess like maybe he hesitated because he's also religious or something. I don't know. Well, maybe yeah, maybe he has the because he is you know a man of the cloth as well that he has that respect of okay yeah you know he's he's in his zone. He didn't see me, and like Maggie said, do it safely. If you're one one on one and you can do it safely, do it. Mm-hmm. So Gabriel didn't take him out because he didn't feel safe. So yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Now going to Negan and Maggie, like that was an interesting interaction as well. Mm-hmm. Like, how did you feel about that? Like them talking together yeah. and. Um, uh, and he said he would have killed them all. If he, if he yeah, that was, yeah, that was quite really, chilling. Yeah, that, that was, was chilling. <laughs> that was really. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was. Um, yeah. I'm very uncomfortable, He's and she was very upset. Himself. Yeah. That's so that's. They want to you be know, honest, but that's what he said. He wants to be honest. It was very that shocking. Was really shocking. <laughs> it was so shocking hearing hearing him say that. I didn't expect him to say it like mm-hmm. that. But as we've seen throughout this show, I mean, it's that's hard. <laughs> it's not straightforward. I mean, we've talked about this so many times, mm-hmm. but you know, everyone at this point has killed someone. They're murderers and in a certain sense, you know, whether they were trying to um, help a family member who was suffering to like, there's just so many things, accidents to, you know, killing walkers, whatever, but um, they're all murderers. And Maggie's group went into a building. They didn't know these people. They just knew their people were threatened by this other group. They didn't know anything about them. They were in their sleep when they like murdered them in cold blood. So they also are justifying what we were protecting our people. And I truly like, not that it's like 100% right one way because nothing's perfect. It's all bad. It's hell right now or has yeah, been sure. since the yeah. apocalypse. But, you know, people will justify to protect their loved ones, to protect their group, to kill others. Mm-hmm. And it's the same for Rick's group. And yeah, Negan yeah. was speaking truthfully there. And he is more understanding of the truth and Maggie I mean I don't blame her I hate you know what happened with Glenn like I'm so sad he's gone he died a brut- mm-hmm. in a brutal That's way it was sure, awful yeah. um but you know he does that to put everyone in line like he has like really scary people underneath him too and he has to like but it's still an awful thing anyways Maggie's yeah, not perfect she's not pure yeah. she murders she's a cold-blooded murderer too right. you know um and for her to be like how can you say that? I mean, like, I was shocked to hear that, too, especially him saying that to Maggie. Yeah. But he's trying to get his point across that she's also a murderer and has done really bad things as well, justifying to save those she cares about or, you know, her own group. Mm-hmm. And Negan, the reason why he said, you know, I should have killed all of you is because they murdered a huge amount of his people. Oh, sure. Right. That's, That's how I took it. I took it as yeah. when... Maggie said, you know, she's justifying. Well, there were no families in there. There were no children. How you do know, you know that? Just, yeah, you didn't know until right. you finished it all. You just assumed. So, yeah, so you're just yeah. judging. And right. he has time to reflect. Yeah, Look at what yeah, they're yeah. doing now. They're going back to their her community to kill every single one of them so they can get back. When is it they started communities? When is it they have families there now? Yeah. Right. yeah. I mean, sure. yeah. where does it stop? Yeah. So, sure. like... He's reflecting back, and he's like, you know what? You did this to all, to all my community. Now that I'm thinking back at it, yeah, I should have I done away with all of you. Mm-hmm. So, 
you know, you have time and reflection and you're thinking back, you know, what I would have done differently. But at the moment, he was doing a gruesome thing to a select few, but he was doing it to to put a precedence that I am the leader because he's really freaking petrified of the guys behind him that he is the leader of. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, he had some awesome. terrible, Impressive. you know... For guys sure. under him too. Oh yeah, so he, he lot had a lot to deal with between the both sure. groups. So yeah. you know his own group and the new group. So That's I kind of I kind of understand why he said that to her because yeah. he's thinking you know that those were my people. You know mm-hmm. you just went and just yeah. plowed them over. So why wouldn't I do that to you? Yeah, you That's know. True, yeah. And this is really twisted, <sighs> but it really makes you think true. too because again we don't like how Nick Negan lived back then Mm -hmm. and how he controlled people he was very violent and he had to be to lead these evil people underneath him Mm -hmm. but if you really think about it uh but then you always have other variables too with the whispers or whoever else is around you never know death can come in many forms but um if rick's group didn't attack negan's group and kill all those people they wouldn't have had wars back and forth where so many people died negan would still have control he would be killing one person per community that he adds on to his so Mm -hmm. it's still a terrible way to live but it was successful and people were able to like work live eat you know sometimes have families um it, it wasn't great but you know, uh, in his perspective too, like a lot more people died because of Rick. It's yeah, just crazy and, to think and then of it you that think way. Of, I'm not saying you know, it was good. It's just right. And our group was like, we're not going to be under someone else's. Thumb. Yeah, I would we're not going to be yeah, under a tyrant either. Yeah. We can't yeah, live like that. Sure. So, you know, I can see why you know they would go against the grain and yeah. do that. And the yeah, only way they too. could was to attack. At, you know, you know, catch them. You know, at their at their weakest moment mm-hmm. when they're sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, so interesting yeah, talking yeah. about this, you know, because yeah. it's it's not, it just depends yeah. on what group you're with and like how you're trying to survive. And I don't blame Rick for what he did because I totally agree. I don't want to be on. Right, you don't want to be like with Gregory, terrifying. you know, yeah. brown nosing, you know, oh, yeah. them. You know, he's yeah. just doing whatever they say, yeah. mm-hmm. treating his, you know, his own people terribly, so he gets That's what he wants. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, now let's fast forward to Hornsby. Mom loves Hornsby. You like wow, Hornsby? Those eyes. You like him? Yeah. Do you remember who he is? No, I don't. He's the, the guy with the, the crazy eyes. eyes. The, oh, yeah. The, the community. Really, yeah, yeah, he's like the like leader, but okay. Pamela's the like governor. She's like oh, um, the right. governor. Higher up. Yeah. We haven't met the governor. We, we met Maybe the governor's son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 so kind of I kind of wondered when Lance was talking about Pamela before, and he was like, why would you go like past me and go talk to her. So I feel like they have some kind of rivalry too. Like it was just a brief statement that he made. Like, why would you like, you know, not come to me or complain to Pamela? Right. He or could go be higher like up. the Lieutenant yeah. governor or something. Why would you just, yeah. So I felt like there's going to be some kind of like problem friction. there yeah, with them or some friction. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Friction. Um, and this is so ridiculous. They're showing us how the Commonwealth lives. I think it's an interesting perspective to see how, oh, wow, it's almost like we're back in the old world. And it's nice to see that. Like, I know a lot of people would want to feel like that again. I know I would. At least I think I would. I mean, so many years later, you change and, you know, you don't want to forget what it was like out there. Like Rick used to say about Alexandria, like you're just completely blind to what's actually out there, that if bad things happen, you're going to die because you don't, right. you can't defend yourself. I know. It's kind of like that they just have more resources and people here and soldiers but um yeah like look at that freaking bratty kid that was so annoying yeah the governor's son and you know they're having a picnic you know eugene you know he sees like oh my god walkers are coming i'm gonna help this this couple that's having a nice picnic he had no idea stephanie didn't say oh that's the governor we have to really keep an eye on him or whatever the situation, she's apologizing. So what were they supposed to do there? Mm-hmm. That's right. You know, w- was he going to be like, like, was the governor's son going to get up and take care of it himself? No, no, so, he wasn't. <laughs> I, I don't know, know what yeah. the hell. That, that was so weird. Was there was no too. soldiers around them. I feel like. It was almost like a test or they wanted to keep him there longer. You know, I kind of wonder that too, because overthinking it, 
it was just too ridiculous to me because here these two people are oblivious, which, okay, that's understandable. Like, they're spoiled. They probably have never experienced anything like this before, like we saw with Alexandria. But um, anyways, like, so they're oblivious. But there were soldiers supposedly around them, and they're important people, apparently, especially the sun. So the fact that there's no soldiers there, like, come on. It was too perfect. Yeah, Yeah, it was too perfect. And they're there, and they end up killing a couple walkers to save them, and yet no one's even there to even hear. And then Mercer, and now he's in trouble. Yeah. You know, someone probably told him to go do something that was urgent elsewhere, took those people, you know, his soldiers away from that area, had no idea. Who knows what the what the scenario was, why there were no soldiers around them. Mm -hmm. But there wasn't. Yeah, yeah, and they were even like, ah, yeah. you know, with the first couple kills, and they're arguing, and, like, they still don't hear anything. Like, where'd they go? So it's too in our face where I'm like, it has true. to be has a to freaking plan on Lance Set Price. Yes, definitely. You know, like, he's going to try to screw right. over Pamela Make you way. Right, and then they all oh, help Ezekiel. Oh, mm-hmm. you helped. Yeah. We're going to help you, absolutely. You're going to have to stay another month. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. it's like the oh, hospital yeah. thing, you know? And the kid was too, I mean, if he was supposed to be annoying, but I wish it was a little different. Like, he had his girlfriend behind him, so he's trying to protect her. So I like that a little bit better than him just being a coward and, like, just, like, push her away and, like, ah, like freak out. But I kind of wish, like, you know, he was actually scared. Like, he was startled by Eugene. And... Then he got mad and was like, he attacked me. But to just be like completely stupid and oblivious and be like, what? And oh, he attacked me. And like to not even understand what just happened, I thought was a little too stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, to not even know like, oh, the were walkers right there. They just tried to kill me. Like, I don't care how spoiled you are. If someone's attacking you, I think like and if someone jumped in to get that attacker, I think you would kind of notice that. Maybe not. I don't know. No. I just I, I thought he was too oblivious. I think he was oblivious. I think he didn't care. And mm-hmm. he's like, yeah. you, you guys are newbies. Stephanie's been there a while. But, I mean, she just killed, She just took care of a walker for his girlfriend. And all they do is complain that there's blood on her. Mm-hmm. I mean. Yeah. And the fact that yeah. Lance, yeah. because I guess no matter what, default, whatever that kid says, he's protected. Yeah. So you just have to go yeah. by what yeah. he You're says. You're wrong no matter what. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Lance be like to talk to Eugene like that and be like, oh, well, oh, if you yeah, saved him, that could have been. I'm like, he did freaking save him. And you know it. So it has to be an yes. Because that was too yeah, annoying. I'm like, right. You all are dumb. They're faking it. it. They're yeah. just. Yeah. And definitely. they're keeping Yumiko just so she can just keep, you know save getting them out of it you know just you know or and she's going to be doing him a favor soon Mm -hmm. so who knows if hornsby is going to be he wants to be governor you never know if he's going to try to take it out from under you know the governor right now take her job yeah Yeah. so i like how you brought that up so i really do think now that that was a ploy yeah um, it's gotta be because if if the governor's son is saying well there was but you know there's soldiers for this you know why do you do yeah and why are they not there is that important and he was oblivious to that he really let his guard down because he just knows people are going to take care of me Mm -hmm. well it doesn't you know, I know because yeah, like yeah. in that yeah. part, I, I totally get him being oblivious because he just assumes they're around. But mm-hmm. then he's like arguing, and oh, yeah. you can clearly yeah, see there's no soldiers yeah. around here. So soldiers. and Mercer was myself. running with one of them, so they were clearly Hornsby Far probably away. just yeah, right, they, yeah they 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 took him <laughs> yeah. away for something urgent just mm-hmm. so they were exposed. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. what do you guys think about the punishment that everyone went through, like Steph, Eugene? Um, Ezekiel and Princess. Like, do you think that's a fitting punishment? I think it's. I yeah, think it's hilarious yeah, that they're not like they should be fencing the area first or something. Hopefully, they are. We're because not if you're it. just yeah. going to continuously just kill, I mean, you're not making a fence, a perimeter, because right. you want to expand the community, right? So now, okay, you're killing these walkers, but and I understand that, but where's the, like. Are people working on a fence? You're you know right. I mean? yeah, that's smart. It's yeah, like, they should have like, a perimeter so. set up. It's like Hopefully work that they didn't see. It's it. like <laughs> it's like silly work. It's just like yeah, you know, yeah, you're not really make. You're making work. You yeah, know, you're not right, really yeah. functioning to do something. You're just making sure, them. Yeah, be and maybe they are. You know, I mean, I hope not. I really hope they are truly trying to expand. I get like you have to find a a, a way to punish people, and for them, like they are survivors. They're great at killing walkers. Okay, and they were kind of like joking, like it was just a normal day of working. So all right, mm-hmm. but it's so like even the best people 
like Carl, like a simple bite can kill you. Oh, that so okay. it's still an extremely dangerous job. It's not like, oh, you we're going to punish you by making you do hard labor. Oh, it's hard labor, but if you slip on a bunch of knives, it's on you right. to die. That's like, right. And guess what? There was, and they had like the soldiers okay. at the on the other side of this little fence. So they're like, well, if you die, you're on that side. So yeah, it's kind of like throwing yeah. you in with like slow right. tigers. So I don't or something really think like it's that. really productive work. And Stephanie <laughs> seems like she's pretty oblivious. Mm-hmm. That's right. You're quite good. And all she's like worried about, like Eugene, Eugene, Eugene. Like she's not stepping up and saying, um, there's another walker here. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So just to throw this in there, do you guys trust Stephanie? Do you think she is being truthful to Eugene now? Do you think she's really being herself? I have no idea. I'm just throwing that out there just for conversation. I think she is. Mm-hmm. I really think she is. I, I think she so. is. I, I think she is I now. I think she... She's oblivious. Before she was she's yeah. careful. Yeah. And I get she's that. been very, um, you know, protected. So I think she just feels safe. And she. I think she's really innocent. I think she knows some okay. stuff. Yeah. And I think she's like... She knows someone in the middle, you know, management, if you will. Mm-hmm. Because of, you know, her job in the communications. Yeah. She was yeah. allowed to talk on the radio. Well, she really wasn't allowed to, but mm-hmm. she mm-hmm. wasn't, like, mm-hmm. reprimanded for it. So she must know somebody you know, in the higher exactly. ranks. Yeah. They even made a statement saying, oh, well, she's a civilian, so she gets treated better or something. I forget exactly how they said it last episode, but she's doing the exact same punishment as yeah, them. Right, so you get the spear, <laughs> so you're special. Like, it's better. Right, you get longer right, reach that. and less danger. I don't know. Um, and then with you make Co's brother, Tommy. Oh, yeah. What's that about? So we kind of have our assumptions about that, but um, yeah, did they I think hear? they heard they, him, yes, and he so. kept, you know, he kept looking over his shoulder, like I'm, you know, I don't want anyone knowing. So I think they were looking at his body language, talking to her, and um, you know, they they know that he lied on his interview. Yeah. yeah. All right. So is that what you think too? Yeah, I think so too. That they overheard. Yeah. yeah. So I'm kind of wondering that that's what I agree on, too. I think that they overheard and know he's a doctor or something or now overthinking it again um, because of what Yumiko's friends are doing. They're trying to somehow control her and manipulate her maybe by taking him away. So now they have power over her in a different way, maybe to control her to help. Pamela out or something. I don't know. Who knows? I just gonna. Well, I don't know. I think. I think trust. once you're in there, you're in there. I don't think you know. I it's gonna be very anyone. hard to get out of there. Yeah, I don't. Think unless so. you become good friends with Mercer. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. I don't guy. think they can get I out. I mean, I don't. I I think they're gonna play any part any part of you know like conniving to make our group okay, stay yeah. until they find out you know where their group is yeah you know, and honestly maybe friends. that's why if that is possible like a possibility why they took Tommy, um is because they want to manipulate her to like make them more guilty or yeah. something so they'll be in more trouble and i don't know yeah, i mean I, that's yeah. just like a random thing i'm throwing in there who knows but mm-hmm. uh i'm really thinking it's because he's a doctor and he doesn't want to be known for that yeah and he does and he probably knows like he was telling her look they're gonna make me you know continuously work i don't want the deadlines i don't want the stress i i like what i'm doing now i'm good at it just mm-hmm. leave me alone stop it you know yeah. and um you know he you know, That's he sees what's, he's, he must know enough. I mean, he's a smart guy. He must know enough to just, you know what, less is more. If I just do yeah. this little job. So many questions. I have this nice little life and leave me alone. Mm-hmm. Don't shake the yeah. Don't Do you like it. the Commonwealth, Mom? <laughs> no, I don't. Enough of a good thing. I mean, yeah, it's, it's she'd a rather wear a mask, mask and walk screen. around with walkers. That's what she'd rather yeah. do. No, you know, thank you. <laughs> it, it's kind of sad because I do like the hope of Commonwealth. Like, I love the hilltop. I love, like, the nice communities that we've seen throughout the show. It's been tragic, like, losing so many. But, you know, here, I love the idea. I'm, I'm very unsettled. Like, I know it's not good. Um, nothing's going to be perfect anyways. There's going to be... A lot of uprising. Uh, people are going to try to control situations, and in this case, like there are a lot of good things about Commonwealth, but there's also a lot of bad things about Commonwealth, yeah, and we're starting to learn know, about yeah. that. Um, and the one thing that always like stands out to me is I love the idea of going back to the old world, having a civilized lifestyle, kind of like the Commonwealth, where people seem to be happy. 
but it only takes one person to die and get turned and then get everyone else infected and then that's when all the chaos like breaks loose so i mean i can't imagine even organizing that because uh anyways like to live this free in a way even though they're really controlled like you have people just wandering the streets and having ice cream and laughing and sleeping in their own beds and separate from everyone else like you know, it would be easy for the virus just to take over. I would yeah, think if you just any die, situation. die in your sleep. Yeah, and That's you just right. wake and up you to eating your family. family. Of four in there. Oh, yeah. And then one breaks out of it. Oh, he left the door open. Oh, and he gets right. out, or the neighbor yeah. comes in, opens yeah. your door, then bites that person because they don't expect it. And mm-hmm. people aren't used to the old world anymore. Because even Stephanie said, like, she used to do that all the time, like most people, but you forget. And it's not like yeah. riding a bike or whatever, yeah. she said, yeah. or driving a car. You just, yeah. you know, you don't snap right back into it right um so and anyways i, I was just overthinking yeah. like and not only that, that you got to think about happen. what they offer you like yumiko she's sitting there waiting for to talk to the governor and um her assistant is saying oh would you like tea would you like espresso yeah. would you like like it's almost like you're at this like you know you're on a cruise and yeah, then they get right, the yeah. bill at the end yeah oh well you that's had a <laughs> all these special things well you got oh, another geez. year yeah, to right? work here yeah, that's you know that's true i didn't think that way i was you know just thinking I mean? like, like well, when you're like, offered oh, everything it's like okay what's gonna happen what do i have to do for all this what do i have to pay what's my payment yeah you know what's funny too because i didn't think that way and I was thinking like, um, you know, I was getting almost, I was getting annoyed a bit at like, oh, you get this special treatment when so many people are suffering. And I'm like, uh, you know, the world's just so different now. And it's like Sasha's perspective back at Alexandria early on where she was getting mad with people talking about pasta makers and what I'm making for dinner. And they're like, it's hell out there. And you guys are pretending like everything's normal. Yeah, and you can't. And yeah. you can't. And they yeah. were right. Mm-hmm. I mean, the That's people sure. in Alexandria in the beginning, they were oblivious. Yeah. And they needed help, and they they do. Thankfully, they got some of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's so yeah, fun talking about yeah, the show. Yeah, I know there's always so many things to say, but I hope yeah. Tommy's going to be okay. Curious what that's about. And um, Ezekiel, I'm happy that he's happy, doped up on pain meds and whatever, and he's getting some treatment. He's getting some help now. Yeah. Oh, yes. But gosh. there again, how much is that going to cost him? Right. Yeah. And what job is he going to do yeah. now yeah. with Princess? We yeah. didn't see their job yet. Yeah, that's true. Oh, we didn't. Yeah. And Eugene's in jail, and that's really sad. And Eugene's yeah. in jail. What are they yeah. going to do? Like, are they going to set up Ezekiel and Princess to do something wrong and stay in, you know? They probably will. Be punished longer, yeah, too. Yeah, they're not leaving. Yeah. This sucks. I don't know. That's right. Got to watch the next episode. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, Can't you. wait to see what you have to say. Okay. And we'll see you very okay. soon, as okay. always. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.